Hey, what up, boys? Before we get into the episode, we wanted to give you a reminder that we have new merch out for OTK Network. You go over to otknetwork.com to take a look at all the new stuff we've got. We've got hoodies, shorts, shirts, everything else in between. So again, otknetwork.com. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Steak and Eggs podcast. I'm Emaru. I'm with my friends Asmund Gold and Tectone. We all just got back from a weekend trip in LA to do the OTK Games Expo. What do you think? Uh, how'd that go? <laughs> Wait, why are you making that face? I am so glad I am back home. <laughs> I, Isn't it, that bad? Yes. Well, I thought, I mean, that, okay. I thought that you kind of liked LA a I little bit. I actually like LA more. I like California more than Texas. Oh, so I'm really? going to be totally honest. Yep, absolutely. I think it's great. Uh, the problem is that my house is not in California. It's in <laughs> Texas. And, uh, you know, I sit in my room and everything's totally fine. And I play video games in the dark. And then somebody comes in and ruins it. And so, yeah, I uh, woke up on like Thursday at like, I'm talking like 5, 3, 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And I was awake from that Thursday because my flight was the following uh, morning at 6.30. So I had to be awake at 5. S. Fan and Wake show up at the house. They're like, did you sleep? I'm like, no. Did you sleep? They're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> and so nobody slept. And then we see Tectone over there and you almost missed the fucking flight. Yeah. And I remember, oh my God. So me and Wake were standing right next to the fucking airplane and we could hear, you were so loud. <laughs> we could hear you over the jet engine. <laughs> like straight up, like perfect. Like there was literally like no, oh, I wonder what Tectone's saying. It was like flawless audio. What That's the fuck? Crazy. Right next to the jet when engine. When was this? And then, well, whenever we flew out. Uh, yeah. Friday flight. Yeah, it Friday was morning. like, yeah, it was me, Tectone, Wake, and s -Fan, And we just sat on the plane and like for the first half, like we were just talking, being super annoying. Uh, and then the second half, everybody was trying to sleep and no one was sleeping. Fuck. And uh, yeah, it was bad, dude. Dude, it's crazy. I really, oh God, here we go. I really don't think I'm that loud, but everybody tells me I'm loud. So I know I'm loud. I just don't know why I'm loud. Ask Wake. Yep. I just, it's yeah, a combination we of a lot it. of things. Like you said, yeah. you project your voice. I think also being tall maybe has something dude, could help like, it. Like, I don't know. The thing is, I can be so much louder. It's insane. Like I'm at, I'm, I'm sure. at like 5% of my power. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I could, I could, this isn't even my final form. <laughs> yeah, I could <laughs> obliterate <laughs> eardrums. I truly hate flying. I loved LA. That was awesome. I yeah. took the best sushi of my whole life. We went to that. That was oh my fucking God. We went incredible. To, you don't like sushi, right? What do you think? No. Nah. I mean, I just thought I'd ask to uh -huh. be polite, but I knew what the answer was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We had some crazy sushi. It was good. Yeah, we went okay. with a uh, sea urchin. We were Emily. eating sea urchins and shit. You probably would have cried. The fuck? Why are you eat that? Just leave them in the water. Leave them alone. <laughs> nah, dude. Wait. I was, I was, I was tearing up. It was that good. It was oh insane. My God. And the best thing about eating really good sushi is afterwards you feel like a super saiyan because like because oh, there's so much the fish, fish oil, oil right? Yeah, yeah, fish oil is good for your brain. It, it's like, I, I was feeling groggy afterwards. I feel like I was a new man. Really? Oh my God, it was so good. But the only problem I have with going out of my house is I get so fat. Whenever I leave my house, I, I, uh -huh. I, I force myself to eat my, my little pre-portioned meals. And then when I go out to the hotel, I have to order Chick-fil-A. You have to? Yeah. What else am I going to fucking order? It's LA. There's like 300 restaurants in one mile. I don't know what to order. I, I don't know what to, it's hard. I order McDonald's. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, I saw, we. I went down to the meeting room the night before. I was, I was late. having a bad time. I walk into the conference room. Asman's got his head in his hands like this and there's six yeah. full-size bags of McDonald's in front of him. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, so right. Gross. Suffering from success. <laughs> no, I had been awake at that time for like, I'm not even kidding, like 35 hours, 30, 35 hours. I wish I took a picture, but it was so funny. You were like, Oh my God, there are yep. just six bags of McDonald's laid up there. There it is. And um, <laughs> I, I ate that and then I just went up there and I passed out. I remember I was so tired that at the end of the, re the rehearsal, I literally like what happened to my head here? I just walked into a wall. <laughs> Straight up. I just walked into a wall <laughs> and uh, I was just like, oh, what the fuck? And that was it, man. Like, and uh, yeah, it was like, I... It was so weird to do all that. And like, I was like delirious at the end of it, man. It's crazy because the event's over and I can still feel that you were stressed 
about that whole event. Like I can feel it in your voice that you're you're still stressed even though it's done. You're like, <laughs> it's oh, over. Yeah, like it's reliving done. your trauma. It's because yeah. he knows. Oh it, fuck! I had to leave my house, dude. It's because he knows <laughs> that next year he's gonna have to do the same thing. Oh, we'll see about that. We'll see if I figure <laughs> out a way to get out of that this time, dude. AI yeah. has been going to run that shit. That's actually smart. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I hate I hate how Just already phone it in. There are people already trying to weasel out of going to next year's expo. Yeah. They're like, oh, do I really have to go? I can stay home and just react to it. No, dude. I think we should all do it together. I think it's way better. I like liked it. going. Same. I thought it was good besides the food I, issue. I feel like I would have had so much fun if it wasn't me that was in charge of the whole thing. Yeah. Right? For the show. Like, I mean, and by the way, keep in mind, in charge of everything on camera. Everything off camera, I did nothing. But on camera, I uh, you know I'm like got to be the host of the show. It's on my fucking channel. It's like oh my god. Yeah, dude, you and S fan oh, yeah. probably had the hard. No, you did have the hardest jobs. S fan did, I think. Yeah, I was uh, just sitting there being like, yeah. look at that trailer, dude. Looks like Fortnite. Yeah, <laughs> epic. <laughs> That's, like the whole That's thing. crazy. Look at that. Wow. Look, at the, look at the graphics. Holy yeah. moly! Oh, it was like the dev interviews. I felt that 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 had to have been hard uh, for the devs because like. Going in front of that many people for the first time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that must have been incredibly nerve-wracking. So, shout out to all the devs who uh, did that. They did a great job. Yeah, I mean, I, I I wish that I could have asked more. Like, the problem is I always like asking edgy and stupid questions. Yeah. Like, I asked the guy if you can pause in the fulfillment cinema, like the fulfillment center simulator. Yeah. And it's like, he's like, yeah, you can pause. And so, it's, it's oh, it's not like real life, you know, because the Amazon made, like, the workers <laughs> piss in bottles. Yeah. And so, like, I wish I could do more of that, but I never know like what's over the line because like for me, the more fun I'm having, the less brand safe the content is. Yep. Can I can I address the elephant in the room of what happened to the OTK Game Expo? Is this the sweaty, hairy armpit elephant? Yeah. Can I just address that real quick? Go ahead. Okay. So when recording the expo, there are times where you're told you're going to be on camera and there are times where you're told you will be off camera. So... Demi can attest to this. During some of the breaks, I was doing push-ups because I'm trying to stay in shape. I'm trying very hard. Can you agree that I did that? Um, I kind of remember did. that. I yeah. saw him. Excellent. Right. So I was doing push-ups, okay? There was a segment before where it said S Fan and Asman were going to be on camera. And they did. And it was just S Fan and Asman, right? Another one of those came up. So I thought, okay, I'm burning up. I got a sweater on. I am burning up. It was hot. With yeah. all of those monitors, it was hot. So I take off my sweater. And then all of a sudden, when it said Esfin and Asman, imagine my fuck. And Cameron edited in the footage because I found this on the script. It says just Esfin and Asman. And then a dev walks up, sit next to me, and I'm on camera with my sweaty ass pits out. And I was. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> Oh wow! Look I at was, that. Jesus. Why didn't you? Why didn't you just put your shirt back on though? Oh, because man. I would have to reach behind him because it was behind the couch. I would have oh, to touch him. Oh, okay. Well, the thing is, like, if it were me and I knew that there was a camera pointed at me, even if it's not on stream, I I just assume someone's watching all the time, so I, I would never be in that situation. Like, have you? Never mind. I probably shouldn't bring this up. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. No, but like, I mean, I, I know <laughs> theater before, being like during your stage time. I this is literally where I thought I was going to be off screen because the script said you will be off screen, and then I'd take my shirt off to cool down. I was going to slap it back on when it was my time, but unfortunately, I got yeah. caught with my pits out. I mean, pits this out, is, baby. this really isn't that bad, but like it's, any situation where someone has a camera in the room and they're like, oh, no one like. It's fine. Like, why Why would you do that? Well, like, think, it can just happen. The, I think next year what we should have is we should have you just not even wearing a shirt at all. And then <laughs> where Extra Emily is, we'll have S-Fan doing the same thing and we'll just put the dev in the middle. I agree. And, and you guys can both <laughs> hold I, microphones. I, so yeah, man. So like, what do you think about this game? Yeah. It, it, was, it was a four to five hour show. I cool it was. for literally two minutes. And then the camera gets back. It's like picking your nose. Yeah. It's picking your nose or putting your finger in your ear, you know, fiddling with your pants, going to go piss. It's just something that you do when you are uncomfortable. You try to relieve yourself. Did you go piss during the show? No, actually, no. Uh, I, no. I didn't take a piss on camera. <laughs> yeah, I but mean, you I, went so, off camera to do it, Yeah, right? I did. Because, you know, like, I, I, I'm not like, I don't go like, okay, well, I'm just going to do it right behind the sofa because, you know, I'll just turn around and right. they won't well, see me. I'm okay, saying, but did you remember to turn your mic off? No. No, that's, see, I. that's why I didn't piss because well, my funny. mic box was in a place that I couldn't turn around to see how to turn it off. So I just I just didn't pee for the entire like oh six God. hours. I just want people to know, and I'm sure we're going to show the document. 
I did not think I was going to be on camera when I was airing out my pits. Okay. Uh -huh. That's, I just want to, I'm not a fucking freak like that. I know it's really not that big of a deal, but I am so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. Did you see the chat, bro? Oh my God. I did. I did. I was reading it and I was like, what the, because I thought they were talking about me. I thought like my suit jacket was torn or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought they were all making fun of me, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I during that segment, I was like taking like a mini nap in the crowd yeah. and I, I wake up and I see the chats like spamming about pits and I was like, Who, who's armpits? What are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, what is this? I didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was so embarrassing because then I couldn't stop laughing because the chat was making me, because when and, I get- And then, <laughs> then the fucking CEO of the company is sitting right next to you and yep. he's like- <laughs> 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 He's reading the chat too. That yeah. was funny. Uh, I apologized to him afterwards. I felt so bad, but I was so embarrassed, yeah. bro. I couldn't stop laughing. It was so bad. And then I see all of my friends re reacting to my stream afterwards, just fucking dying at it, bro. Oh my. I'm even still got so much embarrassment from that. Holy fuck. I rarely get embarrassed, too. Rarely. That I'm was a, insane. I'm going to be honest. I, I, I did not know there were so many games expos in June. Like there was like oh, five of same. them or yep. ten of them. Like what the fuck? Are, like, are they just all in June? Like all? I think all it's mid year, so probably summer? yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, like, I knew there was a lot. That's why I was so scared going into it. Uh -huh. I was like, how the fuck are we gonna measure up to that? But I think we did an amazing job. I mean, we popped the fuck off. Like I, I was very happy about it. Like I mean, in terms of the performance of the show, viewership, everything like that, and like the audience sentiment. Oh, it was S tier. It was great. Oh, and just the games that we announced. Yeah. Like for the summer games fest, I wasn't really a fan. Maybe like the Spider Man one was cool, but like there was so many games where I actually genuinely thought, oh, I'm gonna play this like multiple times. Like yeah. Uh, what, the, the Heroes of Pridwin, I think it was called? Which one? Or the Gangs of Pridwin? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, the yeah. folklore game? Yeah. Slam With Hammer. The hammer. Yeah. Was, oh, yeah, that one's yeah. cool. I, th I thought that was like Sherwood. Something. Gangs of Sherwood? Or? Gangs oh, of okay. Sherwood. Okay, yeah. okay, there you go. Okay, Sorry, yeah. I'm dyslexic. Uh, and then the uh, the shoot the tentacle one, the spores, the spore demon, I think it was called. Spore. Oh yeah, yeah. Demon the, something. Yeah, the creature keeper mm -hmm. also looks so fun. Like I don't know, I was just really proud of everybody who uh, did all that stuff. It was really fucking cool. I'll be interested to try a few of them out and see what they're really like. Cause like I've been trying a lot of new games. You know what? Last night I tried Final Fantasy 16. Oh shit! I played it for the first time. You guys can play it too. It's a demo. I think on, it's a misplay. It's what? I think it's a misplay to play it this early. Why? I want to go in in 10 days and just straight through it. No, nope, I don't Th think so. That would be torture to me, bro. Playing two hours of what I'm assuming is going to be one of the greatest games of the past decade. It is, a, it is a good game. It is definitely a good game. They had the guy. How good? Say what? How good? What a time. Uh, from I what you experienced? two hours of it. I mean, what for the those fuck two do hours? I know? Like, I mean, I would say the combat is for the two hours, I'd say it's at least a nine. Oh, Jesus wow. Christ. I think... I think it will be, it'll either be this probably or uh, Zelda that'll be game of the year. I think this beats Zelda for sure. You think it beats Zelda? Yeah, even without even playing it. Mm -hmm. I don't think Tears of the Kingdom will did be. Did you play Tears of the Kingdom? I yeah, I played it for about eight, nine hours. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't too good on stream because it's, it's very chill. Open world games don't play well on stream. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I don't really care for the open world Zeldas as much as some of the older ones. Yeah. I don't know if that's just me. What's your favorite Zelda? Maybe Twilight Princess or Majora's Mask. Wrong. What's yours? Uh, Link to the Past. Really? Oh, I actually never played that one, but I was going to play the, the remake. Yeah, Link to the Past is great. Link yeah. to the Past. It was insane. Yeah, that one came out before I started playing games. Like, I think that it the first Zelda game I played. Existed. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think my first was Wind Waker. That's how oh my I God. was. Yeah, the GameCube was my first yeah. console. So, my first but I, was, I went uh, back and played some of the older ones. I think my like first one was uh, either Ocarina of Time or Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. Really? Okay. Which were both incredible. My favorite of all time is Link's Awakening, the remake on the, the Switch. Yeah, I remember I had the original Link's Awakening on the brick Game Boy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was just bad at the game, so I couldn't really beat it or anything like that. But I remember I had it, and I was like, wow, what's this egg here I, for? I, oh, I what is it. crazy? Did you play both? No. I oh, because I, I was curious how different the remake is from I the original. I was also wondering that. Yeah, because I, I don't know which to play. The You should play the I remake. I would do remake. The big old okay. egg. The Oh, dude, the graphics are so good on the remake, too. I'm not really that much of a graphics whore. That, that being said, listen, you can call me a bitch. I don't care. I did not like the graphics for Tears of Kingdom at all. It felt bad. Why? Yeah, I, it, I, it's just like, for Breath of the Wild, when that game first came out, those graphics were like, those were like industry standard. Mm -hmm. These felt like old news. 
I really thought we could do something better, but unfortunately, it's like it's limited by the Switch. Yeah. To where I know Tears of Kingdom is probably going to be re-released on the next console, whatever Nintendo releases, to make it look how it should have. But it just the frame rate really wasn't that good. Uh, the graphics felt a little bit even pixelated. It just did not perform the way that I wanted to perform, unfortunately. And I hate saying that. I don't really like the palette that they chose for Tears of the Kingdom. Like the more like washed muted out. colors. Yeah, it's very washed out. Yeah. Yeah. But I just, I, I don't know. I, I would have low-key hoped just for them to wait to release that on the new console. Not that I'm a graphics whore, but I just wanted the same hit that I got from Breath of the Wild. I didn't get that with Tears of the Kingdom. I, you know, I, I stopped playing Legend of Zelda games whenever Wind Waker came out in protest. I was you upset. hated the cartoon styles? That, I wasn't even the, the, that wasn't even the first one, was That's, it? There was like Minish Cap or whatever. Uh, but Minish Cap was pixel was art, like I guess. Fucking, bro, that was like some fucking like some Game Boy Advance bullshit. I played like, that. I liked who it. Who cares? <laughs> but like Wind Waker comes out and like Legend of Zelda, like y'all might not remember this, but like back in the 90s, Legend of Zelda was fucking dark, man. Yep. You were going into like a golden pyramid, breaking into the side of it and fighting a pig lord for like his piece of the Triforce of like power and it's like everything is like dark and undead and it's like Frazetta-esque style. It's like, it was almost like Diablo. Mm. And then like uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time comes out and it's like even more fucking dark and brutal. And then fucking Nintendo says, you know what? You haven't seen anything. The new game, you know who the enemy is? It's the fucking moon. And he's going to kill yep. you by yep. killing himself and everybody <laughs> at the same time. And guess what? You got to stop him and you've only got three days and you're going to die and he's going to blow up the world over and over and over because fuck you. That's why. And then GameCube comes out and they're like, oh, Legend of Zelda is so nice. Oh, we're going to sail around. And then they made Twilight Princess. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, after that is an apology. Dude, I also <laughs> stopped flying. I did not. I still haven't played Wind Waker. It drove me crazy. Exactly. Back then, I was like, I'm not no, I'm being Pucci serious. Yeah. You would love Wind Waker. I just, well, I I'm go, being serious. I know. I, I think it's like actually probably an incredibly like, great game. But it, is, it is very good. When I saw that, it was so fucking different from Majora's Mask. And like, even me, I was a weird. I was like, I was, I was super weeb. But back then, like, I was just like, no fucking yeah, way. This is not Zelda. I, I, I get why people shit. would want to yeah. like it. That being said, I think the Koroks, I like which I believe are on Wind Waker. The Yapapa. Ye yeah, they're like originally from the Wind Waker. Yeah, yeah, bro, they're so cute. Yeah, they, oh my God. I went to an anime con like three years ago and they were selling Korok, like little statues that you could shake and it would make the noises. <laughs> and I never bought it because I didn't have any money back then. It's my biggest regret ever because it was custom made. You cannot order this. I, I want it so bad. I also didn't play Twilight Princess. You didn't play it? It's too edgy. I, I want to go back and play every single Legend of Zelda game. Like, do, do Legend of Zelda 1, like, Link's Adventure, like, which apparently is fucking garbage. But, uh, you know, I still want to play it and try it out and, like, do Link to the Past, Majora's Mask, Four Swords, The Minish Cap, Link's Awakening, Twilight Princess, like, everything. I would love to go back and play all of them again. Four I Swords think, is fun. I think I'm about to say the biggest pussy take of my whole career. What's I have that? never beaten the Legend of Zelda game without using the guide. Yeah. I can't. To 100% it, I don't know how you're supposed to figure these things out. You know what's funny is like, I actually beat uh, Link to the Past whenever I was like nine years old or like eight years old or something. Yeah. And then Ocarina of Time, I remember I let my friend borrow the strategy guide and he put it in the washing machine <laughs> and I could never fucking read it again. And I remember I beat that game too and I never beat Majora's Mask. Did, wow. you, did you did you 100% it though? I mean, like, I beat the game. But did you collect every heart piece? I mean, I probably didn't get every oh, single one. I've never one. fucking done that in any Zelda game. Like, I got is, pretty much everything. It is impossible. I cannot literally imagine anybody who's ever 100% a Zelda game without use of external sources. Maybe somebody has. I don't think you're intended to find every heart piece. Yeah, though. you're not They're supposed like, to. Yeah. I feel like I remember in Wind Waker, there's like one heart piece you have literally one chance to get. And if you fuck it up, you're just never getting it. Because I did try to 100% that game and I was just like, fuck it. I just gave up. Really? Which one's yeah, brutal? I don't, I don't remember. It's like this island. I don't, I don't remember. Mm. I'd have to play it again. I also heard that in the Wind Waker, it's like a seven hour period where we're supposed to just like drive around the boat, look for little puzzle pieces in the water. That's some fucking pussy shit, man. Like you used to go around and you would fight like a demon pig in a castle. It was so cool, man. Like yep. you go back, look at Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Link to the Past. That shit was dark and it was beautiful. What's your number one Legend of Zelda moment in any game? What's like one thing that you remember doing and you were like, holy fuck, this is sick. I, I, I hate to do it, but there's two. 
You go um, for it. So number one is whenever you're talking to this like guy and he's like a little, uh, what, what is it? Like he's like a minstrel or a bard yeah. and he turns into stone and like he like dies in like Legend of Zelda uh, Link to the Past. Anybody who's like played the game will remember this moment. And it was like super sad. And I was like, what the fuck? How'd that happen? Yeah. And like that's number one. <laughs> number two is in a uh, fucking ocarina of time. Here we go. You're fighting Ganondorf and you're reflecting the fucking attacks back to him. And I remember doing that shit. And like my mom let me stay up until like two in the morning. She was watching me play it and I fucking beat it that night. Did you do it with a sword or did you do it with a bottle? I did it with a sword. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? My best Zelda moment? Yeah, one or two. Best Zelda moment ever. Best Zelda moment ever? Frick, I, don't, I haven't played a Zelda game since... um. Breath of the Wild came out. And before that, I only played like Twilight Princess, like Wind Waker when they came out. So it's been a super fucking long time. I think in Minish Cap, I collected all those stupid fucking like puzzle pieces. Yeah. The like half and half ones. And when I did that, I was just like, oh, thank God I'm done. <laughs> I was just so happy. Yeah. For me, you, second yeah. best moment, getting a Pona, jumping off a Lawn Lawn Ranch, stealing yeah, that yeah. fucker's horse. But my number one moment, this shit blew my mind when I was a kid. Ocarina of Time, you're going up to Ganon's castle. There's this big ass rock and you get that gauntlets and then you pick up like this yeah. rock the size of a skyscraper and you fucking <laughs> toss that shit. That shit and out of I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. And that moment meant so much because then the power scaling community did a fight for this anime show called Death Battle yeah. uh, for uh, Link versus Cloud Strife. That fight is fucking crazy. If y'all haven't seen that, have you ever seen Death Battles? I have, but I think that oftentimes the the people that, like as somebody who knows a lot about the lore for <laughs> yeah. games, I think there are oftentimes things that are forgotten. Yeah, oh, yeah. 100%. But I still think they're fun. They are fun. Their most recent one was uh, Chosen Undead versus uh, Dovahkiin. So Dark Souls versus uh, Skyrim. Well, how could the Chosen Undead lose? They just respawned. The Chosen Undead lost. How could, they, how could they lose if they respawned? They blew up the bonfire. It was crazy. The they can blow up the bonfire? Yeah, there's like a spell in like Skyrim that like counters like the magic of it and they just like blew it up with one of their shouts. How do they know it counters it if it's different? Well, so it's like, for example, like um, in Dark Souls, there's an ability that prevents like speaking and like yeah. silence of spellcasters. So they use that on the Dovahkiin to prevent his like his thumb. Right? So like mm -hmm. little crossovers like that. And so then the Dovahkiin apparently had a magic that would like counteract the bonfire. He just blew it the fuck up. I thought it was awesome. Do I agree with it? No, but it was still cool. I feel like that's just bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest. that's what I'm saying. You bullshit. should watch it. Yeah, I will. I will watch it. I'll, I'll be very opinionated. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, it was a 22-minute video. It lasted okay. me three hours. Yeah, that's about right. Yep, <laughs> there you go. So good, Oh, dude. man, I would be so... I, I, I would have so much to say with that stuff. Yep. <laughs> Death Battle, I feel like it's peak content. So what about Final Fantasy for y'all? Because, like, I'm going to be real. Like, besides Final Fantasy fourteen, like, the MMO, like, I have never played a numbered Final Fantasy game Same. before. Before Final Fantasy 16? Uh, I played the shit out of Final Fantasy 14, not as much as you. Okay. I think I got like past Heaven's Ward. I don't know how long it took. That's me. about, like, um, I was about the same, but I did all the raids and everything too. Yeah. And then uh, as far as the games go, I've never played them. I like the characters. I've played Cloud Strife and Super Smash Brothers. Okay. So that's about it. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty much a Final Fantasy expert. I remember <laughs> I, uh, I watched me. Final Fantasy Advent Children, remember it came out, like the movie. And we watched it. I brought it to anime club in high school and we all watched it together. Sick. Yeah. Yep. In 2006. Wait, did you go to seven. anime club in high school too? No, I was at a private school. I didn't have one. Oh, I went to an anime club once at my high school and then I never went again. Was it that weird? It was not the best experience, no. Yeah, I, I wonder why. It was a. Uh, yeah. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> because everybody there is fucking weird. I uh, know. Well, yeah. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. <laughs> come, oh, I mean, good. come on. You know, it is what it is. But yeah, no, I, I've never played him before. And so like playing the first Final Fantasy game that's action combat. So did y'all ever play Devil May Cry? Yes. I watched someone play, I think four. Okay. Well, f probably five if it's a newer one, right? Yeah, no, but this was a while ago. It's, okay, it's yeah, this was a while okay. ago. So yeah, like, so they took, like Devil May Cry is like well known as like one of the best combat games mm -hmm. like out there. They just literally hired the guy to do Final Fantasy 16. 
Like, I don't they're know like, that. okay, this is the guy. <laughs> and so yesterday I watched like the uh the pre pre-release event and they had Maximilian dude, and then they had the guy from Devil May Cry there watching Maximilian do a boss fight, and Max couldn't beat it. The Devil May Cry guy comes in and almost fucking flawlesses the fight. No 15 way. levels under level. He doesn't even use his limit break until the very end just so he can make it look cool whenever he killed the guy. Oh my God. It was God. so fucking badass. It was awesome. Fuck, I wish I could have seen that, dude. Yeah, I remember watching it live because I was like, you know, are these guys really going to be that good? And it's like, from the very beginning, the first attack the, the boss does, this dude just like straight up shuts it down with a parry. And then he does another attack, shuts that one down too, and people are like, okay. Okay. That's Never so mind. cool. <laughs> yeah, it was so cool. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hey guys, today we'd like to bring you a look at the new upcoming PvE multiplayer game, Evercore Heroes. It's got a MOBA feel, which kind of makes sense because some of the people that worked on Fortnite and League of Legends also are working on Evercore Heroes. We had the chance to talk to Travis George, the CEO of the company making the game at our recent Games Expo, and the game is actually looking very interesting. There are four teams of four, so 16 players in every game. You all are different characters. So as like with other MOBAs, you'll get stronger as the game goes on, and eventually at the end, you're gonna go head to head against each other, against the other teams. We got a quick gameplay trailer to show y'all. Cam, fire it up! Beta goes live this Tuesday, June 20th, and we'll actually be playing the game on stream on the 21st. So check it out. If you're interested in playing the beta or you just want to check out more stuff about the game, visit evercoreheroes.com. The link is in the description. I'm super into the Final Fantasy lore. Like, I feel like Sephiroth is probably one of the greatest antagonists of all time. One of the co just coolest aesthetic looking guys. Cloud Strife is fucking sick. Uh, Tifa is incredible. You know, like the yeah. main guys from FF7. The soundtrack is incredible. I, I respect the series a lot. I've never played it. Always wanted to. FF16 is going to be sick. Because I, I really don't, this is going to be weird to say, I, I, don't, I don't think Final Fantasy XIV is like an actual Final Fantasy game. It's like way too different. I, I mean, did you ever play fourteen? No, I didn't. Oh, man. So the story for the game is actually so good. Like, did you actually pay attention to the story at all? I skipped all of it. So that's why you think that. <laughs> yeah, that's my fault. Yeah, that's, that's why fault. you think that. Because like if you, and that's that's good. That's a good thing about the game, right? Yeah. Is that you can play the game completely, uh, you know, extrinsic from the story. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Do you usually skip stories in those games? Uh I got that bad habit from Genshin because uh, I <laughs> for the first, I think, like 10 hours of Genshin, I read everything. And yeah. then around... Um, Inazuma, I just started skipping everything because I was like, God damn, I just can't. I was I was playing on stream and the gameplay was so fun. I was just like, I don't want to fucking read. Yeah. Like, I just want to play the fucking game. And then I played it for like a pretty long time. Then eventually my stream started getting furious at me. And yeah. they told me I'm not allowed to play the game unless I read everything. And I'm like, all right, guys. I'm I'm good. I'm gonna just go play Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah. The community is very, uh, they're very enthusiastic about like the way that people play the game, and it can actually be like super off-putting and weird. I wish they weren't like that as much. But the story is actually like an S tier story, yeah. and I think that as a standalone, like if you just took the MSQ, like the main story quest of Final Fantasy XIV, and you use that as a standalone game. Is that a great experience? I haven't finished it, but like where I'm at and everything leading up to that, absolutely. Yeah. It I mean, is so good. I would be pissed if somebody came to Honkai Star Rail, skipped yeah. all of the story, and then said, oh, game shit. Yeah. I totally get why people would have been angry. Because I still like the game. I love the game. I was right, a, right, yeah. Uh, what was I? I? I was a Dragoon. Oh, floor tank. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, and then That's I swapped it. to a ma ma machinist. A Wait, you can't be a tank as a Dragoon. No, a floor tank. Oh, Fort, yeah. Okay, so you did play Drew <laughs> Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was it. dying on repeat. Uh-huh. And it was so fucking fun. Uh, but I, I totally get why people would be upset. I'm not holding that against them at all. But like, they were so mad I was skipping the story. It was... Oh, yeah. And it was just going on for so fucking long. Oh, and, and like a lot of it's not voice acted, which makes it way harder. Because I, I think that like that's another thing with Genshin, right? Is that like some of those like secondary quests, especially the earlier ones, aren't voice acted at all. 
So you'd have to like read everything. Yeah, and there's yourself. just so much text. That is ingrained into my brain. If yeah. it's not voiced, I assume it does not matter. Yeah. I don't know if that's bad, but I'm just like, if it mattered, it would probably be voiced, right? Like I, I went through and I've I've read pretty much a lot of this stuff from like all these games because I just find it interesting because it's like the more you know, the more you know. Yeah. But other than that, like, yeah, I'm, I kind of like with Diablo or any of those games, usually the side quest, if it's not voice acted, ah, it's probably be, if the, if, they, the, if the own developers don't care about it, why should I? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like the Diablo of cutscenes are incredible. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to read the shit out of that. Yeah. I'm just not. Did the, you finish the Diablo 4 campaign? I got my horse. Does that count? No. No? Not at all. It's not even remotely close. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. Fuck. My chat was like, dude, you have two more quests. You beat the story campaign. Do you get your horse? And then yeah. I got my horse. And I was like, oh. Well, you've been playing a lot of the new Honkai Star Rail. Yeah. The new uh, the new patch. How is that? Oh, it's fucking incredible. Is it really? That oh, good? no, it's fucking insane. Wow. Like the, the events are fantastic. Uh, they showed more Kafka. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Uh, the the rewards are insane. Um, I haven't even got to touch the new story quest. They added in a uh, a simulator, a museum simulator. Yeah, I saw into the that. game, which like some people like. Actually, a lot of people like. I get what people wouldn't like it. Like Mtash doesn't like it, but that's because Mtash doesn't like video games that aren't that are gotcha, uh, which is fine. But the museum simulator is like it's a really nice breath of fresh air. There's more variety. One point two. I'm literally just counting the days. Because it's going to yeah. be the best patch, like, ever. It's going to completely obliterate anything Genshin has ever done. I know that for a fact. Like, it is going to be probably the best update in gacha history. I can't fucking wait. Have you all seen the fact that Honkai Star Rail made $100 million? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yep, made a video on it, too. Nuts. What the fuck? Yep, $100 million. It's actually $102 million in a fucking month. And did you all see that Genshin had the worst month of their whole existence? Of course, uh, right? Yep. You know, people yeah, well, saying, everyone's migrating, right? Yeah, yeah of but course. people yeah. were saying like, oh, dude, Genshin's dying, Genshin's dying. What's Hoyverse going to do? Bro, these people are so stupid. It's, it's like, the same. It's the same what? Code. Are they yeah. really saying yes. that? And I'm like, bro, it's a W regardless for Hoyoverse. Well, what, what they're going to do, and this is the smart thing, like Blizzard does this with like Classic WoW and Retail WoW, is like Classic WoW has a big patch, Retail WoW has a low in content. Yep. And then Retail WoW, or Classic WoW, is a, or Retail WoW is a big patch, and then Classic WoW has a low in content. And so you always have something going on. Yep. So like what they're probably going to do after like the initial burst of content from like Honkai Star Rail is they're going to just release stuff from like a big patch for Genshin and then there's going to be nothing for Star Rail like you know it's going to be smaller updates and then there's going to be a massive patch for Star Rail and then Genshin right so it yep. keeps people going back and forth it, it is literally by that by design I've even yeah. told my entire community that's going to happen because the low end content will happen when 4.0 releases for yeah, Genshin exactly. and that's the smart thing for them 100%. to do it's a good idea yeah and once again like Honkai Star Rail could not exist without Genshin uh, and it's not that I think Genshin's a bad game I just think it could be better Right, so I totally respect for what Genshin did for the, the industry of gacha games because because of Genshin now we're getting games like Wuthering Waves, uh, the new Seven. Did Deadly you play Sims Wuthering game. Waves? Oh yeah, I fucking love it. How much did you play? Uh, probably at least like eight nine hours. Oh man, like I mean, did you play that? Mm -mm. Oh. Is that the MMO one? No, uh, it is. Oh, okay. it, well, it's it's MMO esque, but I think that it, it maybe has a little bit more aspects of MMOs than like maybe Genshin, but oh, right, it's right. not really MMO-based. What's the MMO one that you're talking about? Blue, Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I got to go slap. I get to hold hands. Which, I can't wait, bro. That fucking game. <laughs> Which got fucking delayed until 2024 for, for the Western release. Yep. For yep. Throne and the Liberty. Did you guys see this game? Yeah, that dog shit game. Literal. It was, okay. So, <laughs> it's, it's so not bad. even an opinion that it's trash. Yep. Whenever NC Soft, their stock went down massively. After that game got announced, that's how bad it was. People saw the game and they're like, yeah, let's sell this fucking stock. Like, this is, <laughs> we're out of here. We're done that's with this. That's rough. It was Damn. so bad. Uh, what didn't look bad, though? What's and I've been, I've been waiting all episodes on this. Bro, the new Fable. Okay. I'm a huge Fable diehard. The last one that came out was Fable 3. At least the last one was worth talking about was Fable 3. Uh, this, I had two games. My house got burnt down forever ago when I was in high school. The only two games I had were Skylanders and I had Fable 3. I've beaten Fable 3 probably about seven or eight times. It's incredible. If you like uh, British humor, uh -huh. like, like very, very dry humor, Fable has tons of that, but also it's very like snarky, sarcastic humor. But it's like, if you think being a shit disturber is funny, that yeah. is what Fable is all about. It is 
fucking hysterical. You know how like in certain games like Banjo Kazooie, you have to go around like collect like jiggies and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. In this game, you had to collect garden gnomes and gargoyles, and to find them, you would hear them shit talking you. It is okay, and, and then you walk towards a shit talk, and then you just fucking break their face, and that counts as nice. you get, dude. It is so fucking funny. Like some of the best story writing. If you like Mass Effect's like choose your own adventure type path, that's the same yeah. thing with Fable. The bigger a dick you are, the more dark arts you learn, the more evil yep. you become. You also look grosser. Like you have yeah, like, like flies. Yeah, yeah, flies swarming you. But if you're a good guy, like, oh, also if you're evil, people run away from you in town. Yeah. If you're a good person, divine light, holy powers. Uh, everybody's like, oh my God, traveler, traveler, please have kids with me. It is so fucking funny, dude. I miss those games. Though, like, when your actions fucking matter, when they dictate the gameplay, that is what I fucking love, So, dude. the only thing I remember about Fable 1, there are, like, two or three things I remember. One, I was the evil one. I had all the flies around me. Yep. I smelled really bad. Anytime a villager would say, oh, guards, quick, come, quick, quickly. Yes. Then I would kill the fucking guards. Yep. And then on top of that, there was, like, a marriage system. And, and I remember I married the girl with the biggest boobs in the game. That's that sick. was the only thing I remember about that game. Dude, that was my first quote unquote true gamer moment. The first yeah. time I ever felt like I was good at video games. There's a there's a mini game in Fable 3 where you have to like break the targets. Okay. Right? My brothers were stuck on this like yeah. for like eight, nine hours. Right? And I was watching them do it. Wow. I go on my playthrough and they watch me and I do it in like three fucking tries. Yeah. And then they were like, holy shit, John. How did you do that? Yeah. And I'm like, well, if you want, I could do it for you. <laughs> and I did it for them on my first try. Yeah. And that was like the first time I ever felt like, holy shit, I'm a fucking gamer, dude. Right. Oh my God, it was so cool. Because like, I don't know, like, y'all, did y'all have older brothers? I can't remember. No, right? No. no. I, I, there I have was younger someone, siblings. Yo, you did? Mm -hmm. You have younger siblings? Mm -hmm. You don't have any older? No. Oh. Well, when you're like a little kid, at least for me, I was like, my main goal was like, I just want to be good at something. I want to be yeah. better than them at something. It's like, they're big, they're tall, mm -hmm. you know, they're older, they're better at doing things. Like, I always wanted to have like one thing I could do better than them. And that was like one of the first ones. That one and Yu-Gi-Oh, but they didn't care because yeah. they didn't play. So I was like, fuck it. But they both played Fable, so it was fucking awesome. And they, they, beat, they beat Mass Effect on insanity mode in front of me. Mm -hmm. That shit blew my mind. I could barely handle normal when that game came out. I never played Mass Effect. I never did that at all. Oh my God. Yeah. There it's was like, like, there were so many, like any game that came out between the years of 2008 and 2018, I probably didn't play it. I think you would love Mass Effect and you would also mm -hmm. fucking love Fable. Both of y'all. They are yeah. incredible, like the masterpieces. Oh, I'm going to 100% play the new Fable. You Absolutely. Won't, I, you want to go back and try the old ones? I might try them, yeah. Play I Fable say, 1 again. I would say probably do Fable 2. That's the best one. Yeah. Yeah, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Mass Effect 2, I also consider the best one. And the coolest shit about Mass Effect is it has this really cool mechanic that I don't think, if you if you know this, if any other game has it, let yeah, me know. Yeah. You, the actions of the previous game matter in the next game. So it's oh, the cool. same you throughout each game. I am, I think that Final Fantasy 14 has a couple of carryovers from expansions. Really? But I don't know about that. I'm like, not 100 percent sure. Like in Mass Effect, like main characters can fucking die. Like everybody can die. Okay. So if they die in the previous playthrough and you boot up that playthrough, they're done. They're still fucking dead. Okay. Which wow. is crazy. Yeah, that's actually a lot. And the best thing, alien sex. What? Yes, dude. Yes, dude. You didn't see that? What the fuck? Dude, dude. Back in the day, they were like, what the fuck is this? You yeah. can fuck aliens in this shit. What are the kids saying? <laughs> First of all, I'm like, it's ever mature. It was crazy. Can you actually, yo, Jay? Yeah. You can <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, you could have, you could have, uh, you could bang aliens, and it would show it. Uh huh. It was nuts, like in depth. It was my brain was exploding. I was like, what the fuck is happening? And then that was when I realized that my brothers were just as fucked up as me. Yeah. Because there's this character called Tali. And they're like, oh, dude, Tali's so fucking hot. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, finally, I'm not the weird one, dude. Well, let me guess, she was an alien? She was an alien. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, actually, wait, yo, Jackie, you pull up an image of Tally whenever you get the chance. Tally? Yeah, dude, <laughs> she's she's so cool. Tally from Mass Effect. Uh, but yeah, Mass Effect, I, I hope both of you guys try that game. I, that's I might I might play some. I just feel like there are so many new games that I'm excited about. I mean, what, what, what games are you mm -hmm. excited about that, that have been announced? Games that have been announced that I'm excited yeah. about? Yeah. 
Fuck, I'm just drawing a blank. I, I'm sorry. I like to Okay, well, you know, you, you were I'm telling like me two hours of sleep. you were excited about- Oh, uh, you know what's one I am? A, go ahead. Uh, Lies of P. I was watching people play the demo oh, for that. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. It, it's like a, it's kind of like people She's say- She's an alien? Like she doesn't even look like no, an that, alien. That's, that's a fake image. Uh, that one, that's her. They were trying to do that. That's still a human. Uh, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. you can't even see her face, bro. That's just, still a human woman. That ain't a human. I mean, she's designed to look like humanoid. Nah, but you gotta that's see the whole that, body. Wait, show, show, the, show the full body image that's where she's like standing crazy. and shit. Bro, that, that could literally be a human woman. Am I wrong? Nah, but it ain't though. Yeah, it's it's not. This is not really that degenerate, man. But like, the thing is, it, but it ain't but it ain't an alien. Yeah, and it's it's not super alien. Okay, then show um show the uh show show oh god, his name starts with a G. Show the cat guy. From uh, Mass Effect. Oh my god! Calm down. <laughs> like, it, yeah, it, it's okay. just like the lives of the lives of Pi game. I feel like is actually going to be a good like Souls life. Oh, is it lives of Pi? Live P. I don't fucking. Oh. I don't know. I've got no idea. Mm. But yeah, I'm gonna try out the demo and play that pretty soon. Yeah, same. It looks cool. I was yeah. watching a couple people play it, but I didn't want to watch too much of it. It's one of those games, like, I remember, like, now they're actually having, because for a long time, people kept making Dark Souls-like games, but they were just fucking garbage. Let's be honest. They were terrible. And now you're finally seeing games like Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, this Lives of P game, or Pi, or whatever. Like, and these games are actually, actually good games. And I'm so mm. excited for that. Even Code Vein was good. And that was, like, maybe a few years ago. So I'm glad to see it. I only heard bad things about Code Vein. Code Vein is like, uh, think about Dark Souls, but everybody has cat ears. Oh yeah, it's very yeah. weeby. I played yeah, the first like weeby. three, four hours of it and I, I liked it. I didn't even think of that as a Souls-like game. I completely forgot about that game. It's the main character feels like Kirito, kind of. Really? I've, I've, I've heard it's like, it's like, it's anime Dark Souls and it sucks. No, it doesn't suck. Well, then, then I, why the fuck have I not played it? That actually, I don't know. It, it's actually a good game. Like, did you beat like the butterfly boss and shit? I think so. I think I did two two bosses. Is it that early? Uh, well, it well, I mean, it depends on if you consider like the first guy from the prologue a boss or not. But besides no. that, yeah, then it would be like that. That there's like the butterfly boss, and there's the guy that spawns a lot of ads. Ads. Yeah. <laughs> spawns ads. Oh, I guess you don't play MMOs. Like spawns other monsters to help fight him. Oh, I was like ads. Yeah, I was thinking like, like what Twitch ads. ads. Yeah. What was that? The fuck. Oh my God. Oh yeah, ads is like short for like additional creatures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I never heard the term before. That's crazy. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my God. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> that is fucking wow. crazy. I, I, I like never learned are. those Dude. like super widely used terms. Like I didn't know like what dot meant till I was like, probably like four or five years ago. What does it mean? Damage over time. Okay. All well, right. What does what OTK mean in like a card game? In a card game? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't fucking know. One. One. One time. No. One turn kill. Yeah. Oh, one turn kill. Oh my God. Wait, that's cool. Yeah. yeah Why do people say over the knee one turn kill is way cooler? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> uh, people are fucked up, baby. Yeah. I, don't, I just never hear people. Well, I mean, I do now since I'm like a streamer, but before I would never hear people use those terms. Like I played so many games with like dots or like things like that. Like, yeah. What's a, what's a league term? Maybe maybe there's a, a term that term? a league term that Azure doesn't know. What does it mean? Inting. Inting. Yeah. yeah. I know what that means. Well, yeah, I do that it? in a while. It's oh. like just getting yourself killed over and over. Okay. What well, about like what what is like what is it short for? Intentionally killing. Intentionally feeding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what does uh, backdooring mean? You surely know that. Well, you just come in and attack the base from behind. Okay. Uh, uh, what does it mean when somebody hook pings you? I don't know that. That means to kill That's yourself. That's a new one. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to say, League is so popular that people use those terms in like every game. Yeah. People use inting in like every But every dude, seeing the hook pings yeah. is the funniest shit. Yeah. Yeah, I've never had that. I, I Yeah, we don't have that in WoW at all. Yeah, they, you, don't, you don't have a kill yourself emoji? Um, No, people will open up trade and put bleach in the trade window. Yeah. What? Wait, that's so... Yeah. I've never seen that. Yeah, Holy it's very shit. common. People Holy always shit. do that to me on stream and I'm like, okay, thank you. And it's just like, I just throw it away or something. Like, I, I like I think the best part is like, a lot of times there are people will do that. I'll act like I don't get it. I'll be like, what do you want me to do with this? I don't, I don't need this. What is this? <laughs> Who is this guy? Is this like a viewer or something? Like, who's this guy? Okay, all right. Anyway, so yeah. And just act like d annoyed by it. Like, you don't even know what they're trying to do. Yeah. I remember when Tide Pods first came out and I was oh pissed off because they looked so yummy. 
Really? Yeah, have you ever seen a Tide Pod? Yes. Those things yeah. look fucking delicious. They do look really good. The I forbidden hate. fruit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a fruit you would eat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Better than a raspberry. Oh, fuck that, dude. Oh. I don't know. Like, I, I'm I'm very excited for a lot of these new games. And it's like, it's so sad because I was talking to Emmy about it. And the only thing that she was excited about before the show is having to play the same ranked system again in League before they get rid of it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah, they're right. I'm not excited about it. I just said I feel like I have to do it one more time. How many times have you done it? How many times have I promoted a diamond? Uh, whatever. Got to be over 20. Uh, 21, right? You got to do Yay, it again. 21. I've gotten to diamond one time in Twisted Tree Line and I've been platinum in, so in solo queue. Yeah. I have never been challenger or grandmaster, but I heard it's very cool for people who have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think it is very more cool. Slowly. <laughs> like any, any time that anybody is like a really high level league player, I feel like like the higher their rank is, the more insane they are. I was, oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, he's going to say it correlates with, with mental illness. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I, I don't understand what the fuck that game does I would to say 99% of the time that's true. Oh, there's this one guy. What the what the hell was his name? I don't remember his name, but he was this league player that was challenger. And he, he wouldn't play that much. He'd play like a couple games a day. He was going to school to be a doctor. And there was this Reddit thread about him. It was a hate thread. They were like, why Why is he like, you know, going to school and doing all this shit when he could be pursuing like a pro career? And like, why is he like, they were mad that he was like a normal successful person while also being good at league. What I was like, fuck? how is of this real? Of course they're mad about that because these are people who are bad at league and bad at life. So then you have this guy <laughs> and he's a doctor and he's better than you are. It's like, well, this is, there's something wrong yeah, with he, the world. He was a full-time med student and challenger and yeah. people fucking hated him. I mean, by people, yeah. I mean like chronically online Reddit people, but it was, it was just really funny to like see that go down. What the fuck, bro? Oh, absolutely. Like the same thing happened. Like I had a friend of mine who's like a doctor and he was like a top parsing, uh, what do you call it? Like WoW player too. And I remember like we played together and I was like telling people about it. They're like, nah, man, he bought his account. Like, nah, man, like he's <laughs> cheating. Like he, he buys gold. Like there's something like, nah, man, nah, there's no way he does that. And like we went to high school together. So like, I'm like, nah, bro. Like he didn't do any of that. What do you mean? Do you think, what do you think is harder? Uh, beating Manus and Dark Souls? Yeah. Or being a doctor? Beating Manus and Dark Souls? No, 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 For me, it's probably being a doctor. For Emmy, it'd be beating Manus. Oh my God, but I literally yeah. beat him. Yeah. yeah, after a while. Like how many, let's say you just give a doctor a controller. Right. Who do you think can do a heart surgery? Do you think I could do? Do you think I could do a heart surgery first, or the doctor to beat Manus? I don't know. I, I never. I, I wonder I mean, how hard. How it'd good be. is the heart surgery? Yeah, well, I'm probably pretty good at it. What's how hard can it be? Just fucking Ooh. fix it. Uh, yeah, just fix it. Just like look it up or something. <laughs> like look Watch it up on like on your smartphone. Like yeah. okay, what's like just follow a YouTube tutorial. yeah YouTube tutorial for this. Oh, wait, wait a second, guys. We got an ad break. Yeah, how <laughs> to skip? Stop bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I I don't know. Like I, I'm I'm happy to see that like you know gaming is like so much more mainstream now than it used to be because like back in the day if you played video games like you weren't really a loser but you weren't a winner either you know and like now it feels like everybody plays games now and it's like completely yep. normalized. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was a loser, for yeah. sure. Yeah, or wherever I get into an Uber driver with a 60-year-old, and I'm like, I never yeah. heard of video games before. Back when in my day, we played Pac-Man for 25 cents. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand these fucking days. It literally just happened. I could not get this Uber driver to shut the fuck up. Really? I'm like, bro, I just want to go to sleep. Let me sleep. I had a 50-minute drive. He wouldn't stop talking about these fucking Pac-Mans, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if Inky and Pinky beat your ass up when you were a kid. Have you guys ever met someone who was, like, embarrassed to be a gamer or, like, embarrassed to be a weeb? Uh, yeah, I mean, Asma was embarrassed to be a weeb. I don't think I was really embarrassed at all. Like, I, well, I was because I saw like an anime that I thought was really bad, and I thought all anime was like that now, and so I stopped watching anime completely. Oh, yeah, there was. I bring this up because there was this girl I was friends with in high school that I just remembered, and like, I was not embarrassed at all about being a gamer or a weeb because like, why would I? Yeah. So uh, people like knew that I played League and like did a bunch of other stuff. And there was this girl, and she was this like beautiful, super popular girl. She comes up to me, she's like, "Hey." I heard you play League and I was like, yeah. And she was like, can I like tell you something but like don't like tell anyone? <laughs> and I don't know why she was so like weird about it, but she she would go home every day and play World of Warcraft for eight hours before going to school. And she like didn't want anyone to know. 
Smart. She was embarrassed about it. And I actually saw her like six months ago on TikTok on a video with a million views, like a Twin Peaks interview video. And <laughs> it had a million views just because she was hot. Yeah. And like, I knew her in high school and she was like ashamed to be a WoW player. That's the same chick? Yeah, the same girl. What the God fuck? God damn. I mean, I wouldn't want, if I, okay, playing devil's advocate, I would not want to be a hot chick either and tell people I played video games because then everybody's going to think, oh, she plays the same game as me. That means I have a chance. Maybe we can rage together. Maybe she'll be my well, heel Well, also chat. when I was in high school, WoW was already like an old person game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like she, she would play with like her dad. So. That's cool. Yeah, that's cute. nice. I remember back whenever I was in high school, I, I had a World of Warcraft hoodie. I would wear it to school every single <laughs> so day. Yep, yeah, and people would sometimes like make fun of me or whatever. It's like, okay, you're gonna make fun of me, but you're fat, and I'm a level sixty warrior. So who's really the winner here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm curious. I wonder if we had the same sweater. Mine was a completely black sweater, and then yeah. it had the Horde logo right on the front. It was an all red. No. No, uh, is another one. Like uh, I, I got it from like Jinx. I actually have two of them somehow. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I still wear it like very regularly. Mm. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like back in the day, people didn't like, you know, like playing video games as much as they do now. It wasn't as normalized, but like now mm. it's like everybody. But like, that's kind of sad to see people that like, you know, it's something they like doing and they're afraid or ashamed of it. Yeah, and like she was one of those girls where it's like she's popular but doesn't really have a lot of actual close friends. Right. I feel like if she was open about it, she probably would have made a lot more friends. Yeah, no doubt. And like with the Horde, so that just reminded me with the Horde thing. So I've seen a lot of like, wow, community drama videos that are like eight years old. Are yeah. there people who took like the faction stuff super seriously and did like super cringe shit with it or oh, not yeah. really? yeah. Do you have any stories like that? Um, well, I mean, like, I don't really know if we have, like, a whole lot of stories, but, like, there were just a lot of... I think that it's mostly just memes, but, like, uh, I, I feel like there's definitely a lot of stereotypes that people would do, etc. <laughs> it's, like, all of the people that play Horde are, like, these fat, middle-aged men that, like, have tattoos of, like, the Horde logo on their leg, and everybody that plays Alliance lives on a, you know, they're, like, on a yacht with a bunch of models, and it's, like, you know, you know, Henry Cavill plays Alliance, for example, Dude. right? And so, like, that's all you have to know. I had this exact opposite experience. I played uh -huh. Horde growing up, and I was like, yeah, Horde of the cool guys. Mm -hmm. Who the <laughs> fuck plays an MMO to just be a human, bro? Be a human in real life, dipshit. The yep. fuck? Look at these losers over here. Yep. Playing, dude, swapping from Horde to Alliance to play with my friends, uh -huh. that killed me. Really? Because I had I had such like a I had such like a, a identification thing. Like I I was Horde. I was a fucking orc. I loved playing trolls because trolls yeah. were the I hated this. I felt like a fucking troll in real life when I was like a kid. Yeah. Because I was like tall, gangly arms. I still am, right? Like it felt like the closest thing to me was a fucking troll. They were so cool. And the Do way you know they what shot their my first their character bow. was? Your first character? Yeah. Like if, if you know, because I, I had to say. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then Emmys would probably be uh, what? Blood Elf? Yep. Of course. I call that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's fucked up, right? Oh, that's always like blood elves yep. are the default girl race for horde. Yep. Like that's just that's just they, how it is. I mean, they just look good. What else is there yeah. to say? Yeah, there it is. It's fucked how much when you like break it down. Why I chose that? That's insane. Good girl God. equals blood elf. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Because <laughs> like, you wear the elf ears all the time. Yeah, all the time. I but, think I've only played blood elf, night elf, human, and then I think I had one character that was is is it gnome or is it just dwarf? There's both. Uh, I think it was a gnome. Yeah. Gnomes are so fun. I remember you wore the the elf ears at one time. You didn't even need to be wearing those. Was that like two episodes ago? Yeah. Like I, I just like, forgot I was wearing them. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like, okay, oh, she's just, just gonna on. she's just gonna wear it. All right. This is just this is like her self-image, right? This is the new normal. I had this happened with Pokemon where yeah. I would hear the music in the back of all the time. When you stopped playing WoW, would you still hear Baron's music? Or no? Uh, I would, I remember, so I had this happen a lot in Diablo 3. This is like really bad. Is I would go to bed and I would have like these weird Twilight Zone dreams about playing Diablo 3. Yep. And the worst thing about it is that I didn't even get any good loot in my dream. Oh, fuck. That's how bad this shit was. Like oh that game God. was fucked whenever it came out. Bro. Like, I would play that game 15, 12 hours a day. When you when you would play, would you ever in real life quote the characters what they say? Like, keep your feet on the ground. Or, I'm um, out of range. I think I would do that 
Like there was one time I recorded a video with my friends where it was the first boss in Ice Crown Citadel, like Lord Marogar. And I had done the boss so many times, I could quote his entire intro and I did it. And I put like my shirt over my head and he spins around and he tries to attack you and he says, Bone Storm. Bone Storm. And I grabbed the <laughs> yeah. traffic cone and I was just spinning around in a parking lot. <laughs> yeah. And like my friend was trying to run away from me with his stick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck it. That's so cool. That was just, uh, you know, what we used to do whenever we were unemployed. It was great. And now, a word from our sponsors. Yo, today's sponsor is Display, a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. You can customize, collect, and rearrange them at will. Plus, it only takes 20 seconds to install with zero power tools, zero damages, and zero frustration. Trust me, I know that because I've done it myself. This plate has over 1.3 million designs. That's crazy. 40,000 artists and delivers to 56 countries. Uh, Jay, can you pull up the display website? Oh, look at that. They have Genshin on it. Isn't that so cute? Wait, do they, do they have any Honkai Star Rail or no? Oh, they have a, oh, they have a little pom-pom, dude. Aww. Oh, I love that guy. Wait, can you zoom in on that pom-pom in the top left? Oh my God. He is so beautiful, bro. I love pom-pom <laughs> so much. He's my favorite. This plate is all about collecting your passions and using them to inspire yourself. And with a four to five day delivery time, that's really quick. There's never been a better opportunity to grab one for yourself. Plus, oh, sick. You can use code STEAK for 20% off, one or two displays, or 30% off. 30%? Damn. Dang. Off three or more. That's code STEAK at checkout. And thank you, Display, for sponsoring today's episode. For these special deals and to see some of the one-of-a-kind metal posters handpicked by us, be sure to head over to Displate.com forward slash steak and eggs. That's Displate.com forward slash steak and eggs for up to 30% off your next order. Wait, what the fuck is going on? Why does it say Demon Slayer is ending next week? Uh, Holy shit, is it ending next week? It's not ending. I mean, like, the there's no, no, like, no the way they're going to end. What? There's no way. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh, wow. It I just got that. frantically typing. Oh, yeah. I'm depressed. I didn't know that was happening. Oh, I don't I'm... think I don't think it's ending. I feel like it's just the season is over. No, yeah, right? the swordsmith arc is probably ending. It's so fucking good. It's incredible. Have you seen Mitsuri? Uh, is that the uh, pink the... hair with big boobs? Yeah, yeah, That's she's dope. Like I've only seen her like at the very beginning of like the Hashira thing, where like uh, you know they go over there. Yeah, but other than that, like I'm like halfway through the entertainment district arc. Maybe yeah. a little bit more than that. Mm. So I, I've been I, trying to watch it. Demon Slayer started off as super normie. I was like very opposed to watching it because I was like, oh my God, really? it's just it's just a okay. mid story and then flashy animation. I'm not going to watch this shit. Yeah. But now it's just really good animation and really fucking good story. It's, it's like good. so peak. Yeah, I like it. The, the beginning is, wait, Demon Slayer 3 finale? Oh my God, no, bro. Demon Slayer episode 11 finale. Is that actually a finale? Like, like dude, what for, this, for the season. Dude, only yeah, 11 episodes. I thought I was getting 24. That's why I'm heartbroken yeah, right now. that's a short season. That is. Aren't they usually 12 when they're like those shorter seasons? Uh, they're generally pretty, like a little bit longer. Mm. Oh my God. That I, I guess I get it. Because like when you see the animation for season three, like you're going to understand. Like uh -huh. it is, it is. I mean this unequivocally, there is nothing, nothing that has ever came out in the history of anime that even looks remotely comparable to how good season three looks. Yeah. It is insanity. It made my, it made my brain like not understand what the fuck was going on because it looked that good. Wow. Like there's a character that has mist. It looks insane. There's a big dragon. It looks insane. Uh, Tanjiro's weapon art is fucking insane. The bad guys are insane. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you since it's been like a month and a half since it started coming out. Uh, like, what do you think of Oshino Ko now? Because when it came out, everyone, were, everyone was like, oh, this is the best anime ever. Yeah. It's number one on my anime list. I feel like it's good, but like, I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen an anime as like overly hyped in my opinion. I think it's really good. And it makes me really sad every episode. Why? What's well, it about? Uh, honestly, what it's about is the struggles of being a content creator. Okay. That's a huge, that's a huge uh, message in Oshinoko. Like the mental battle of content creators, um, as well as uh, some weird shit being isekai as a yeah, baby. Like, 
and also idol culture. So idol culture, content creating culture. You have to have heard of this show. It's the show where the guy dies and he's reborn as like a teen mom's baby. Yeah. What the fuck? Like that's something that bothers yeah. me is every time what I'm watching fuck? this show, I'm like, this show would be so good if this wasn't a middle aged man in a teenage boy's body you know with a teen mom. Like, this, why did they do that? That's I, not necessary at all. When I first started watching, I didn't have like a big issue with it. But now that I'm thinking about that, I'm literally just like, yeah, why the fuck I, was I he feel a baby? Like people who watch a lot of anime, it's just like when you first see it, you're like, this is weird, but over time you're just like, I've already seen it, whatever. No, for you're me, just I am sensitized. Just, yeah. I, yeah. I am literally just like, well, why was he why is he a baby? Like, why did he become a baby? Cause then I, I guess maybe it would be weirder if it was a grown man trying to figure out the main problem of the story versus a young yeah, kid. Like, <laughs> Like, there's some things, like, for example, like, um, Made in Abyss, like, a lot of people didn't like how there was, like, a little bit of nudity in there. And was there? There was, right? I, I stopped watching. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the show that, like, had some, like, some people, like, I mean, it wasn't anything bad, but, like, yeah. it was, like, one of those things where it was, like, oh, well, okay, it's, like, part of the show. But, like, for Oshino Ko, it's, like, why does that have to be in there? Like, I just feel like it'd be so much better if it wasn't in there. You know what I think that it is? I think the reason why they had to, because now that I'm really thinking about, like, why did they make him become a baby? I guess it's to show what life would be like growing up in idol culture and, like, the true from but the ground it's like experience. He, yeah, but he's more relatable because he yeah. has the brain of an adult. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess, or maybe it could be a thing where like a lot of these shows feel like they have to have some weird gimmick to get people to like be like, oh, I'm curious about this now. Your expressions are killing me. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's just so like, why? Like, why? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, but I do. That, I was do think the, that was the kind of shit that I stopped watching anime for. And the only thing that could bring me back was Berserk. Yeah, that's I watched shit. that. I was like, this is fucking crazy. This is awesome. And then like, because all the other shows are like this weird shit. Like, yeah, and like the that's fuck? the thing. Like, like Berserk has stuff in it that's like fucked up and weird, right? Oh, but it's, 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 it's just such a different intention than these other shows. I'll have to watch it and see for myself. Like, uh, Have you read the first volume of Berserk? Yeah. It's fucked up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it's like such a different intention. Like these other shows come across as like, Creepy. creepy? Yeah, creepy. Yeah. This is for weirdos. Look at the fuck. Did you, did, you see, <laughs> did you see my new Berserk statue? No. Oh, my God. No, I didn't see it. Uh, so there's only a hundred of them in the world. Oh, what? Unless I misread it, and then okay. maybe there's only a thousand of them in the world. Sure. It's one or the other. Uh, it was, it, this year was three grand, Asmin. And? Is okay. it worth it? Oh, my God, yes. Wow. It is like this fucking big. Right. Well, what is it? What's the statue of? Uh, it's guts uh -huh. on a body, like a, it's like a giant mountain of like dead orcs, like their brains falling off, their feet okay. cut off. He's at the top and he's got his fucking big ass sword resting on his shoulder yeah. and he's in the full berserk armor. Uh-huh. Oh my God. He's like got blood dripping from his mouth. He's like screaming in pain. Like, Oh my God. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's just because the value will go up, surely. Not that I'm ever going to re- Surely yeah. it's going to go up. That's right? what I would always tell myself when I buy figures, like, oh, like, in the history, like, in the market value, they go up, but I know I'm never going to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> what the, what do you, I, I don't know where y'all have room for this shit. Like, I, I, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I, like I, that's why I don't get stuff like that. Like I don't want to have this. That now I've got another thing in my house that's like taking up space. I just put it on the floor. Yeah? I had to get it. It's just too cool. Is that right? Yeah, it's legit too cool. Oh, man. Like, I, I don't think I've ever spent money on something like that before. It was my it was my, my first big spend. Yeah. This was it ever. That because was Because I'm it? just like, I fucking love Berserk. Yeah. I fucking love Elden Ring. Uh -huh. Right? The whole, uh, what, Cairo? Cairo? What's Cairo? Caleb, sorry. Caleb. Caleb yeah. area based on the Eclipse arc. It's just like, there's, Berserk is just in everything. It's like the godfather of anime and manga. Yes. Well, let me raise that. Godfather of manga because the anime was fucking shit. It's in like everything. You know, the author passed. I just feel like it was just a good... Yeah. Ugh. It's a lot of money. But it's $3, just... $3,000. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That's a lot. That is a that lot is of a fucking lot. money. But it's so big, it makes me happy knowing that if someone comes to my stream to see it, they're yeah. like, oh, this guy likes that. I like that. We can talk about that. Yeah. That's why I like filling up my background. Like my background is, you know... 12 issues of Berserk, 20 or 17 issues of Vinland Saga, you know, everything that I like. That way, when my people come to my stream, they see what's in the background, they know exactly what I'm about the moment they fucking join the stream. So I'm okay with it. I have a 
nothing in my background, just like a refrigerator. Don't you have like a flag? Like, wow. I have a, yeah, well, I do. I have like a Alliance flag and there's like an American flag and then there's like a couple of other like and that's little you. piece of bullshit. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but that's like, that's just, that's just stuff that I put up there. Like, America, wow, garbage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Holy fuck. Did you see the cobweb on Asmund's pizza tray? Oh, fuck, okay. Oh my God, did you see that? I didn't. Bro, this dude cooked pizza, okay, on a baker's tray that was covered in cobwebs and spiders, and he didn't even notice. It is what it is. Is that not? That's crazy. That is fucking disgusting. What's wrong with that? I mean, what's even in cobwebs? Nothing. Who gives spiders. a Who cares? Like, what are you, what's the spider going like, to do? You're going to eat him of? and he's done. What's the cobwebs made out of? Like, people always get upset. Oh, if there, there's going to be bugs in my food. Well, if you can't even taste them, are they really there? You don't really get sick very often, do you? I never get that. I've never, I got, probably has the craziest immune system. Oh, I shit. have been sick. Okay, so apparently I was sleeping with mold. And so like my, my nose would bother me a little bit. But other than that, um, I got COVID for three days. And then before that, I got food poisoning in 2000. And, well, I got food poisoning once recently. And then before that, I got food poisoning in 2012. That was the oh, last that, time I was That sick. doesn't really count. I meant yeah. like sickness you would get from like... Like a cold? Yeah, like from mold or eating bugs, diseases, you know? Never. I've never, never had That's that happen. crazy. You're one of the few people on this earth that just yeah. never ceases to just fuck me up, bro. That shit is crazy. Well, why dude. would you get, why would I get sick? Everything's fine. I'm doing fine. <laughs> yeah. Like I have a very, I, I think that I have a very good diet. Okay. Like I, I, like my calorie intake is extremely low. Like, I mean, you know, both of you guys, how many times did I eat while I was even over in California? Did you guys ever well, see me Well, there were really six eat? bags of McDonald's, so I don't know. Yeah, but not, I didn't yeah. see you eating out of them. Yeah, I did. I ate, I ate one meal the entire time I was there. Why that's were there not, six bags? That's not healthy. That wasn't my food. That's oh. not healthy. Like, under eating, that's not good. It is. It is good. I, I oh. think that, I think Americans are uh, massively... Like uh, over over trained to eat too much food. I think that they eating way too much fucking food. You go and you see the people that are living like a hundred years old. None of them are eating that much fucking food. Uh uh. All right, let's like, figure this uh, out right now. Okay. How old are you, Asmund? Thirty two. Thirty two. How tall are you? About six three. Six three. How much do you weigh? About one hundred and forty pounds. One hundred forty pounds. Male. Calculate. All right. Here we go. Uh, your exercise, I'll put somewhat active because you go for walks. Sure. Calculate. All right. All right. Let's just go boom, boom, boom. Yep. And then let's do this. Boom. How much should you be eating? Holy shit. Stop asking me questions. Just give me the fucking results. You dumb fuck. Give me my fucking <laughs> results, you stupid fucking machine. All right. So it says for you to be holding your weight, um, you should be eating 2,200 calories a day. Yeah, it sounds about right. That's very, it's very minimal. That's extremely, 2,200 calories, that's super minimal. But I don't think one meal of McDonald's over the course of three days is, I don't think it's that healthy. Wait, over three days? Oh, uh, two days. Oh, yeah, I still don't think one meal of McDonald's for two days is that healthy. I had uh, like, uh, like I don't know, maybe like a snack or something like that. But besides that, yeah, it was about it, like a cookie. But yeah, no, I, I, I think that like you, I, I unironically think this, that like the portion sizes in the US here, I think they're way too big. I think they're made for fat fucks and it's insane what, what the amount of food that they give you. And no human being should be eating that three times a day unless you are going out to war, you are wrestling with fucking bears at a mountaintop, or you are on the front lines of a fucking battle, okay? I agree. And you know what sucks for like, okay, so I'm 5'3", I'm like a more like slender build. When I go out to those restaurants, sometimes I can eat all of it, but most of the time I'm, I'm eating like, most yeah. of the time I'm eating like a third to a half, right? Yeah. Then I get fucking so much shit for it. They're like, oh, wow, you just like didn't eat at all. I'm like, yes, I did. I'm literally like about to throw up because I'm so full. Yeah. This plate is just fucking huge. It's like looking in the it's mirror. It's made for like a horse. Yeah, exactly. It's disgusting. Like there's too way too much food. 
Like I, I, I eat again, like one to two meals a day and I feel great all of the time. I never have any stomach problems. I never get sick. I never have any issues. And it's all about not eating a lot Dude, of But food. sometimes eating those full like Applebee's portions, like those full plates, like that should be, that's really good. It'd be hitting good. It Yes, like once a day. Once a day, you eat all that yeah. food and that's it. Or like you have small snacks, like a, a beef jerky and then one meal. I had like Chipotle yesterday. That was it. I and eat, I felt amazing. I eat a fuck ton of clean food. Like I eat like four or five times a day. Okay. But they're like meals that have like 400 calories. That's nuts. Right. That's a lot of food. It is, but like it's low calorie clean. Uh -huh. Like I wake up, yeah. I have steak and eggs with potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I have um, steak with sweet potatoes and mixed vegetables. And then after that, I have chicken with uh, uh, white rice and Brussels sprouts. Mm. And then I end the day with one singular chicken enchilada with minimal sauce uh, and rice. Okay. And that's, then that's I will good. have a smoothie. I'd say, I think that's pretty good. It's fucking good. Like whenever I go out traveling, like you say you eat a lot. I actually like, or you eat more unhealthy. I actually pretty much only drink water and... I hardly eat anything that's like crazy weird or unhealthy. Like the only reason I got McDonald's is because like, you know, I've been eating McNuggets for 30 years. Like yeah. my body is programmed to absorb McNuggets at like a, <laughs> at, at a high ratio. I eat more healthy when I travel because I'll eat more variety. Like I am never fucking making or ordering a vegetable at my house. Yeah. That's fair. There's no reason to because you've got Yeah, but if I'm, if I'm at a restaurant, like it probably comes with vegetables. I'll eat them because they're good. That's true. I don't know if I would ever get to that level. Like, okay. I, it's just not something that I would let happen. They eating those uh, the the green shit, man. Do like roasted broccoli? That's really good. I okay, so I'll go to Panda Express sometimes, and they have like broccoli beef, and I'll oh, eat yeah, like good. one or two of them. That's that's about it. Yeah, those are good. But, so here's here's what I'm confused about. What the, who the fuck is the Unabomber? The uh, Unabomber? How did he die in so prison? So basically, it's this dude. Ted, Ted Kaczynski. Ted Kaczynski. I've never heard of this. And he was this crazy dude. He kept mailing bombs. And he to was like crazy. And what? Like, and he was in a... Uh, when was he, this, the 80s? Yeah, 90s? something like that. And uh, he died. I think he was 81 years old recently. And uh, he was actually in Harvard. And he was accepted into a program at Harvard. And uh, what was the program called? It starts with an M, um, uh, MK Ultra. And uh, basically- Isn't that a Mortal Kombat game? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it will be. And well, it was for him actually, because he mailed out all the bombs. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and so anyway, uh, killed a bunch of people. And he's like a super like highly intelligent, like, you know, super high IQ. And like, he actually had like a few things that he said that were kind of like, they made sense. He was like one of those people. Like what? Uh, he said quotes? that the worst thing that happened to the human race was the industrial revolution. Oh, he was very anti-technology. So yeah. he, he lived in the woods uh -huh. in a shack with no like running water or anything. And he would just craft bombs and read like physics books in the woods. And they, and they couldn't track him or find out who he was for so long. And the person who was able to find him was actually his brother who figured out that it was him because he could recognize the way that he was writing. Or I, th I thought that it was his brother's wife because like everyone, like the rest of his family was in what? denial. It could oh, be one fuck. or the other, but yeah. And so he lived in there. They got his ass and uh, yeah, they arrested him because, you know, he's bombing people and uh, he was in jail and then he died. So now he's done. That's it. What? The End dude, of story. I but I don't, I don't understand why the fuck was... So I hate the industrial revolution. I'm going to blow up universities. Well, what? Like, Asman was kind of bringing this up. I mean, some people, I think it was like his lawyers tried to use this as a defense. So when he was in college and he started college early because he was really smart. Yeah. So he was like 16 or 17 or something. They ran this experiment at his college. Yep. And so the students didn't know this was an experiment, but basically they'd ask you to like, like do like an essay or something about your opinion on something. And then you'd get a one-on-one -on -one with a professor and the professor would basically just shit on you and like rip your shit to shreds. And they like wanted to see how people reacted. But apparently that was like the start of when he started like hating technology and like professors and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They tried to say this is like, basically it was like Harvard's fault or some shit. Oh, which sure, is he like got obviously bullied in school. Not, so but, he's, uh, he can't hold it against them. Like what the fuck does that even mean? Well, I, I think yeah. that if like there's a, there's a study that's intentionally done to like, 
to to damage the like uh, it's kind of an unethical study to do right mm. and if somebody is a product of an unethical environment like is it entirely their fault whenever they do something bad and ultimately it's society's responsibility to remove them from society but you can also separate like you know is this person bad from is it this person's fault that they're bad you know it's like you don't really get mad at for example like an animal like a badly trained animal for being a badly trained animal i mean on okay. people or animals. I totally get that. Yeah. But I think there's a big difference between that happening at 16, 17 versus yeah. a from birth. Like he was born in a country that only had bombs and it's all he fucking knew yeah. was to also, build bombs. Also, there were like hundreds of other students, I think. That, that probably didn't end up were, bombing yeah, people. Oh, no, the guy's nuts so, right? I mean, it's not like it's, okay. I'm not saying yeah. it was like Harvard's fault. Like I, I think okay. that it was probably a catalyst, right? And it's like just because yeah, it something, made a crazy person more crazy. Yeah, exactly. Like it just it just set him off, maybe, or maybe it was like you know the straw that broke the camel's back. Maybe it had nothing to do with it. And the guy always felt this way, and he just didn't express those tendencies until about that age, because that's whenever people like really start developing their their personality is like you know mm -hmm. somewhere around right. like fifteen to eighteen, somewhere around there. So like there's a lot of other things that make sense. I mean, it's impossible to know something like that because so there's just so many variables. And now. A word from our sponsors. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love AG1. I drink it when I wake up because I want to actually help my body and feel good throughout the day. I just feel better all day when I start it off with AG1. It especially makes sense for us streamers and video game addicts because we're constantly looking for ways we can feel as least groggy as possible before doing long streams. Pretty much a must try for anyone who works at a desk, in my humble opinion. It's also designed to support whole body health. It's not supposed to do just like one good thing and you have to combine it with a million other things. You ever get to the point where you're trying to gulp down like 50 pills each morning to get your vitamins in? It's annoying. Just get a drink that tastes good like AG1. It's way more efficient. Just mix a scoop in with water and boom, boom a blend of nutrition and probiotics. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then try AG1 and get a free one year supply of vitamin D and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com forward slash steak. That's drinkag1.com forward slash steak. Try it out. Here's what makes sense to me. Okay. You like Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Do you have a Dr. Pepper right there? Uh, no, it's Pepsi. You want Dr. Pepper? No, because that's zero sugar. I'm wondering... You want to taste it? No. I just opened it. Absolutely not. It's <laughs> disgusting. Why would I want that in my life? <laughs> it's, it's so good. It tastes the same. Well, if it tastes the same, then why do they have to label it? Because this one has zero sugar. Well, then I mean, why, would you like to taste if this? It, if, it, if it tastes the sure. same, it's, then why wouldn't they have just changed it? And then some people not have diabetes asthma. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes? <laughs> what the fuck? Absolutely not. It's nasty. The fuck have diabetes? Okay, try that. I'm going to say the Dr. Pepper. It does taste exactly the same. It's exactly okay. the same. All right. Yeah. It's a little bit warm. Actually, than maybe the aftertaste is a little bit more sweet. Oh, he's going to hate it. But it tastes basically the same. No. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> What's it missing? It's so minuscule. It's so minuscule. Uh, the aftertaste is uh, is different, and it has I a have biting. Said it. I, I made it think about it. Yeah, yeah. Like you what? actually, you actually thought that. You know what? The Pepsi's and the Cokes in California are way better than the ones here. Like I don't know what it is, but they are way fucking better. I mean, I think I think Pepsi Max is incredible, but I, I do think McDonald's Coke is better than Coke in a can. It is. And you know why? What it's down. because it was never frozen and oh. it was like specifically made just for McDonald's. Like I, I know all about this. Yeah, bro, dude. This is disgusting. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Shit, bro. Like one of the worst things to happen to me is whenever I get my soda and they give me the zero sugar version. They did about that one time where I spit in a Whataburger's face uh, with my drink. They were talking about this shit. No. What the fuck, dude? Uh, this was this was. Crazy. I thought I was being poisoned. Okay, this was like my hyper paranoia arc. Oh god. Okay? I've gotten a lot better, but when I was first trying to realize, like, I am a very paranoid mm -hmm. individual, this was bad. So I thought yeah. this person was trying to kill me because I ordered a coke, right? Yeah. And they and I when I sipped it, it was unsweetened iced tea. Ugh. Which, by the way, when you're expecting coke and you get that, I'm yeah. like. Bleh! Like, what the fuck? It wasn't, like, full-blown. Like, a little bit got on them because that was just my body reaction. Don't fucking swallow. Yeah. Oh, my Damn, God. Damn, I feel bad for them. That's that was nasty. a rough feel, feel bad for them? What about me? 
That was yeah, a rough true. day. <laughs> yeah, it was. I apologize profusely. I even I even tipped him. So Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't know. That. I don't like the zero sugar soda at all. I just can't. I can't get into it. Well, we'll see how you feel whenever we do our blind soda taste test. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what happens and, for a, for a steak and egg special. Like, uh, by the way, like, there's no way that like dr like getting diabetes. Like, get the fuck. What do you mean? There's bullshit. no way. Diabetes what doesn't do exist. I mean, it's like gaslighting. I don't see people. Like, I feel like people used to get diabetes all the time. I never hear about it anymore. <laughs> that shit is done. Yeah, like name one World of Warcraft character who died from diabetes, like guys. Like polio. Who gets polio? Yeah, straight didn't, up, guys. Didn't they cure polio? Well, they have it. There's a vaccine for it yeah. or something. So like... Is there a, a diabetes vaccine yeah. or some shit? Like, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> it, it, guys, people die from being stabbed with swords, yeah. right? And getting shot and killed by okay, demons. Okay, but do you know anyone who died from being stabbed by a sword? Uh, yeah. Like eight characters in Berserk. Fun yeah. facts oh on diabetes. 37 million people have diabetes. Look, not World of Warcraft. That's <laughs> look, it's 11% nah. of the US population, <laughs> one in 10 people. Have pre-diabetes. Here's the thing. What are go. the uh, what are some symptoms of, uh, of pre-diabetes? Let me see if there's any of these. Wearing green sweaters. Uh, well, like, Receding hairline. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, I don't fucking think so because like I, like my mom never had it. My dad doesn't have it. Like they even told him recently, they said you can eat more sugar. Here we go. Feel a lot, very thirsty, lose it, try and very hungry, blurry vision. Um, I have very dry skin, but that's also because I never shower. You ever, and feel, you ever feel tired, Asman? Do I ever feel tired? Yeah. I mean, if I was awake for 35 hours again, yeah. That's because you have diabetes. Other than that, no, man. Like, I woke up yesterday at, like, fucking, like, three or something. I felt so good. And I was going hard until, like, seven, eight in the morning. I never get tired. Like, bro, like, that's just fake. Well, yeah, you went... Yeah, true. You, yeah, went, you went live last night at 1 a.m. Yeah. Why'd you do that? Final Fantasy was at 3. The release was at three. I said, I'm going to play that shit on the release. I was like, there's legit no way Asmin coming to stake and eggs tomorrow. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, it's not a big deal. How much did you sleep? Six hours, six, seven hours. Go, cool, Sam. Yeah, I'm chilling, man. Like, I might pass out a little bit whenever I, uh, you know, get back to the house and like maybe before I go live again. But like, other than that, I'm good. Yup. Like, I, I stream pretty much like, I Amy, you stream like what? Three times a week or some shit? No, a month. Yeah. You lazy. <laughs> yeah, is that right? What are you going to do after you beat Dark Souls 3? Elden Ring. Oh, so you're going to go right into it? Probably. Or I, oh, I might play shit. like... I was thinking about playing Getting Over It. Oh, do it. that is... Do oh, it. God. <laughs> do it. That game is fucking incredible. The narration yeah. is beautiful. That's one of my favorites. Like, oh my God, it's such good memories. And you will beat it. And you'll probably beat it quick because you're good. Like, you will probably crush it probably in two streams. I don't like you saying that because now if I don't, I'm going to be even more embarrassed about yeah. it. <laughs> You're going to fucking suck. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I think you'll kill it. I think you'll enjoy it. It is it is so beautifully frustrating. And you'll know if you're doing good, if the narrator keeps talking, you'll know if you're bad, if he's just been quiet for a bit. Like okay. if, it's, if it's just quiet and he's not that, talking. That just means you're not progressing, I'll right? have you know yeah. that I actually was doing so badly at that game. The narrator the narrator actually talks a lot if you're really bad at it too. Wait, really? Yeah, it's like failure is just, you know, one step away from success. Yeah. All right, well, you know, if you get knocked down, you've just got to keep getting back up again. Yeah. And I got a lot of those quotes. Dude. Way too many of them. The hardest, but what was your hardest part for getting over it out of curiosity? Uh, I, I didn't like the way, like, the way that it, it makes you move. Like, I don't like the motor movements made your hand make and it just made my hand uncomfortable. No, like, so like, like which stage? Like, there's the snake, there's the anvil, there's the satellite tower, yeah, there's I, the... I don't know. I just played through it. I mean, halfway through and then I just stopped. I got stuck on one thing. It was the anvil. Really? The anvil, oh my God. It's nightmare fuel, bro. People say the orange is bad. The anvil is fucking awful. Fuck that shit, bro. Oh God. Yeah, I just didn't like moving my hands that way. It felt like very physically uncomfortable. Wait, how, so how long does it take to beat? Most people, like you said, one to three streams? Well, well, people... I think it's probably about eight hours. Oh, okay. It, it'll take you longer if you don't ride the snake because a lot of people say the snake is a bait, but like you want to ride the snake. Right, that like helps you progress a lot better. But people will tell you that it won't. But if you use the snake, it'll help a lot. But yeah, I love getting the over snake. it. Snake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
I, I'm going to be honest. Like, that game just pissed me the fuck off. Like, I played it for one day. I said never again. I am done with that. Well, you didn't beat it? No, I didn't. Well, I didn't. I, again, it made my hand uncomfortable to just, like, move the way it wanted me to move. Oh. Yeah, I just didn't like it. Like, Can you it play with just, controller? So what? Yeah, you can play on a controller. Okay. Yeah, I just don't like playing controller either. Like, I have to play controller for, like, PS5 games, but that's it. Like, everything else. Oh, yeah. Do, don't you play Dark Souls on keyboard? Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is so weird. Yep. Huh? yep. Play the whole thing on on keyboard. Wait, so how, is WASD then mouse's camera? Yeah. And then what? how do you, like, attack and stuff? Click is attack, and then shift click is uh, heavy attack. Oh, okay. That's not that bad. And then uh, bad. a right click is a block or a parry, depending on which game it is. Oh, I don't okay. do that. I just roll. Yeah. Yeah, same. I yeah. I haven't parried since like halfway through Souls 1. Yeah, not like that. Yeah, everybody Dude. was like really impressed how good you were at parrying and then you just stopped doing it. Dude. Yeah. I was Dude. just like, oh. I stopped doing it too. So you played on that. mouse and keyboard and you had McConnell in your ear the whole time. Yeah. You were playing on insane difficulty. And you know what's crazy about that is I still died less than me. Barely. Uh, there you go. Barely. In Souls 1, you died two times less. That's right. Two times less. How many times have you died That's in Dark right. Souls 3? Overall? Yeah. Over 500. That's crazy. Do you think I'll do good? I think you'll do well. Well, so you're, are you going to be, is your goal to die as little as possible? I'm going to just play the game. Oh. I bet you'll die like two, three hundred. I respect that. Total. All right. I respect that. <laughs> Fuck you yeah. didn't kill Madeira, did you? I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. Oh, boy. Is the final boss? Oh, boy. Uh, what? The final... Well, okay, so this That's is the, the final DLC one. boss. I save the final boss of the main game for the end so that I don't have to, like, sit through the credits and then go back. Yeah. I did yeah. the same thing. So you're yeah. beating it next time you're alive? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. There's a chance, at least. I mean, like, you got pretty close. Like maybe so, like five hits away. I did the same thing with Manus. Is like, I'm very stubborn. I don't want to practice off stream or look up guides. But what I'll do is I'll imagine fighting the boss in my head. But then I'm like, what if I remember the patterns wrong? And then it's like so bad next time. So you're like, you're like mentally training for the wrong thing? Yes. Yeah, of course. Did you know well, what I, I, watched, do? I watched some of my own VODs a little bit. Mm -hmm. Can you please go live and play Getting Over today? Today? Yeah. I can't today. There's the OTK meetings today. Tomorrow. I want to see you play Getting Over it I, so bad. I, if I, assuming I do beat Souls 3 tomorrow, I'll do it Thursday. Because that game's going to fucking break you, bro. That game is psychological torture. You know what's messed up? And I, uh. I think this is from League. I have 10 times more fun playing games where I know I'm getting fucked up mentally. Yeah. Dude, like, no, 100%. I, I tried to play... Uh, so before I started Souls 3, I was like, oh, I'm going to take a little break. I decided to try... Minecraft. I wanted to like beat the the uh, Ender, Ender Dragon. Dragon. I kept playing it like I was forced and speed running because I didn't want to take it slow and just enjoy the game. I was like, that's yeah. not fun. Yeah, that's the way I do every game. Yep, you 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 do it in the worst way possible, using no hints, learn nothing about the game, <laughs> beat the entire thing with basic attacks. Chad is molding the entire time. A thousand new people are banned. And fuck them. I'm never going to play that shit yeah, again. That's why I don't play a lot of console games either. Because like story games, I just get this like, this like go. feeling where like I just need to explode, but there's just no yeah. release. You know who else needed to explode? Who's that? Dream. Yeah. For what? <laughs> so from the, uh, like I, I saw this. So this is, this was crazy, right? So Dream did this face reveal, and I actually yeah. think the face reveal was a good thing for him. I was like very much now, in favor. Mentally, of the, I think it was probably the best. Yeah, yeah thirty-five to degrees to the right, and then like ten degrees up. Yeah, and that big old smile. Bro. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> he did and so it's good. like he's a, he's a nice guy. He seemed like a nice guy, right? He's like just talking. He's like, oh, Minecraft. Like, yeah, he's got some weird fans, but it's like, you know, I try to give him the benefit of the doubt, etc. And uh, then he removes the video because people were making fun of him. Now, uh, I don't understand why you would do that. Now, obviously, like, you know, mental health is like, you can't know, like, you know, like, for example, like, I have problems going live on my mainstream. People say, well, just go live. Well, I don't want to do that. So it's like, you know, for him, maybe he feels differently. And it's like, now that it's not there anymore, it's like a mental block that doesn't exist. So good for him. But, Man, people do still have the screenshot, you know? Yeah. No, but here's the thing. They do. They With your, like, worry about streaming, 
it's been like consistent. Right? Yeah. I don't believe the motherfucker that was cheating in Minecraft for like a year. Well, we don't know. Bit. No, no. We don't know that he was cheating because there oh. is a, so there is a one in 14 trillion chance that he wasn't cheating. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, you got to remember that. Yeah, there's a one in 14 million. That's a, that's, that's very oh true. But God. the dude who cheats in Minecraft, right, gets a little bit butthurt over old oh, little kids on the internet calling me names. There's just no way, bro. I've been getting shit on by little kids for like two, three years. Yeah. It it's really not that bad, right? Because then you're just like, oh, they're just stupid little kids. Who cares? They are. They, I mean, the worst shit is they do is they just make shit up, right? That's what they say. Well, actually, actually, Mr. Dweem, uh, he he punched me in your face at a meet and weed. And then people believe that shit because they type it on the fucking internet. But I don't think he's upset at all. I think it's 100% mm -hmm. publicity. 1 million percent. Really? You think it's just like all yeah, just I like, talked to yeah. some people who thought that too. They thought it was like a publicity thing and he's not going to keep the new mask on forever. Yeah, no, one million percent because I believe, and I'm going to pull this up to make sure I'm not talking out of my ass. Uh, let's pull it up. Yeah, uh, because in in his description for the uh -huh. for the video, it just has a link to his new song, right? So I'm pretty sure it's just all people who listen to plug his new song. My opinion. Nah, Is the song so. any good? Did you listen to it? Uh, well, it's made by Dream, so probably not. Okay, that's what the that's yeah. what the point of the mask is. I don't know, like I feel like Dream is one of those people that like people either like just completely irrationally are like so in love with him. Like his audience is just full of these like weird, crazy people that would die for him. Yeah. And then there's also people that just are the opposite and they hate him that much. I just like, so yeah, there's this guy that does like Minecraft videos and he had like a server. Okay, so nobody knew what he looked like. He posted a picture of himself and now he deletes it because people said he was ugly. Okay. Yeah, like I really have no emotional attachment yeah. to this at all. I really don't give a fuck. It's it's astonishing to me that everybody, um, it, everybody was so like it was such a big thing. Mm. You know, like I, I didn't understand it that. It much. was also shocking me when I was a big thing as well because yeah. I was just like I, I liked his Minecraft speedruns. Yeah. Obviously, they lost a little bit of like excitement for me when I realized the majority of them were probably fake. But yeah. then again, I'm a fan of professional wrestling. Uh huh. You know, it's fake so fighting. You know how it is. But yeah, you script it to make it seem cool. Yeah, I watched his manhunts too. I really enjoyed them. Yeah, they're fun. It was just pretty much the three guys in the background going, oh, dream, over and over and over again. That shit got fucking annoying. But for the first couple of plays, it was actually pretty enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, the whole the whole thing is just a fucking mess. I really don't give that much of a fuck. But I just, I don't believe that there's anybody who's like, oh man, I'm getting called ugly again. I just, I don't believe it, man. I, I mean, don't know. I think there's a lot of people like that, honestly. I really do. Especially because like- At his level of success? Oh, absolutely. Well, you yeah. wipe his tears with the millions of dollars he gets every video. Yeah, but people could say the same thing about you with thousands of dollars, right? I mean, it's just the same thing, right? Like, I'm bald. It, it's a, yeah, it's a, <laughs> I'm dealing yeah. with it. And, you know what Miskiff said? What? He said he's tired of being fucking bald. Because it's too easy to shit on people who are bald. Really? Yep. And I deal with that shit every day. So he thinks that he grows hair, people aren't going to shit on him? <laughs> like, I mean, come on. Yeah, who knows, man? Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Who knows, man? I don't know. Like, I, I feel like if people, people should do whatever they feel like they're comfortable with. And it's like being comfortable online. And doing what you want to do is, I think, the most important thing. Yeah. But you always should ask yourself, like, am I doing this because it's what I want to do? Or am I doing this because I think it's what I need to do? And that's the hardest question. That is. That's actually deep as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, a lot of people, it's like, um, you know, there's like a quote, you know, uh, you know, be careful gazing into the abyss because if you gaze into the abyss long enough, it'll gaze back into you. It'll gaze and back. And I think that is exactly what happens to people on the internet. Yeah. They get lost in the sauce. They get it twisted. That's true. Yep. You know that 99.5% of gamblers quit before the big win? That's not me, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Dude. Like you, you see my roles in Hong Kai Star Room. I saw that shit. Like winners win. The winners do fucking that's win. That's all there is to it, yeah. <laughs> It was actually crazy. There was, a, there was a gambling strategy I was doing in Vegas. I don't want to talk about it on the podcast, but I got to talk about it later. The, but, uh, you know, like my genuine? Yeah. Fully maxed out. Yeah. Light cone? Yeah. You got you got five I, or five? No, I, I four. I four. Oh, well, you got to get the next yeah, one. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel like spending the rest Did of the Did you get Silverwolf? No, not yet. I didn't play it. She completely, she's so fucking broken. Yeah. And she's like, any team you want to run, you can just run it. Okay. Don't matter anymore. Put Silverwolf. She makes him weak to your team. Yeah. But, oh my God. Can I tell you about Kafka real quick? Go ahead. So Kafka, this is leaks. I don't give a fuck. I'm talking about him. I'm going to give a fuck. 
Okay. I, I, if Hoyo Verse sends their ninjas after me, I don't fucking care. If they assassinate me, I don't fucking care. Uh, Kafka was going to be a whaler's unit. And her E1 for like, had you to pull two copies of her? Yeah. Would be like the only thing to make her like truly like universally viable. Oh, damn. Before she came out, she hasn't come out yet. They made her E1 just a normal passive. Okay. So now she's just completely free to play friendly. It made me so fucking happy because I was like, oh, she's my favorite character. I'm not gonna be able to use her full potential without her E1. But like now, like her E0 version is like incredible. Because like before she was only gonna work with lightning teams. Yeah. But now she's gonna work with every team. Like I cannot fucking wait, bro. Coffee's gonna be fucking crazy. I cannot wait. Also, good Lord, it's fucking hot. I don't know how you're wearing that sweatshirt and that blanket. That's insane. I just don't think about it. I do. Yeah. A lot. Like, I, I don't, like, in my room, the average temperature whenever I would stream in the summer would be, like, 85 degrees. Oh, my God. And I would just be sitting there sweating, yelling at people playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> it was actually the most degenerate, fucking depressing, and, like, just aggravating thing in the whole world. You know what else is depressing and agonizing and just horrible to think about? What? The fact that people have not checked out our podcast. Oh, are we going to do the signings? Wait, our, okay. our Patreon? Yeah. Our, yeah, oh, yeah. Our Patreon. Patreon. Our Patreon. <laughs> Good one. Can't fix that. Erase time. Fix yeah. it. Thank you. <laughs> I hate how you missed that. Fuck. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three little postcards uh, that mm -hmm. we're going to sign to y'all. Three of these, well, one of each will have one of our names. I apologize if you get mine. Uh, and then you get to keep it forever. But okay, so I get to sign this? Yeah, we get to sign it on camera. We're so We signed the red part probably, right? I'm going to sign the red part. I'm not going to fuck up the photo on the front. He's signing the front. You're signing the front? signing the front. Okay, shit. I guess I'm signing the fucking front. All right, I got it. Dude, my neck looks so long in this picture. It's sick. That's what your no neck normally looks like. What's that game called? Esophagize. Esophagize. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Hold on. I'm going to put my signature on the front. I'm going to leave my little note on the back. They'll know it's me. I don't want to read what I'm writing I that way. It's a, little, it's a little surprise for whoever gets it. So we're all signing each of these, right? No. I'm just do. I'm doing one. I think you do one, yeah. and then Techcom okay. does one. I've done mine. But what if I get like? What if this postcard goes to like the biggest Techtone stand in the world, and it doesn't have Techtone signature on it? It'd what does like, it say? It'd be like that. It's just my, my it, name. That's it. Yeah, did say you write? So. What did I write? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna write one more thing on the back. Yep. <sighs> yeah, people, they, they're going to know that's me. I'm not worried about it. All right. That's a little Damn, special Damn, you wrote note. a whole lot of stuff on Damn. that. Oh, my God. That's a special little note for them. Look how cute my signature is. Wow. You draw a little egg. I draw a little with the little saying. Yeah, there it is. Isn't that cute? Using emotes in real life. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That, isn't that cute? Yeah, yeah, I think it's good enough. I mean, it's definitely a lot more than what I did. I'll tell you that. But um, I, really I, I think mine is uh, mine is definitely what it needs to be. So, gentlemen, again, Patreon. Uh, check it out if you enjoy the show. And uh, we've had a lot of people, you know, review the show and uh, give us five stars. I don't know if we have any of those reviews that we can oh, read we now. Might. Oh, do we? Yeah, we do. It's by uh, Preston JD, who titles his comment, Part of my routine, five out of five stars. Damn. It's been a wonderful new addition to my Friday drives to work. Love seeing you guys stream, and it's been a great to see a different side of you through all this podcast. Hope you guys are still enjoying it, because I am. Well, good for him. <laughs> thank you, man. And uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching every week, showing up and supporting us. We really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I mean... Fuck, we're going to be here next week doing the same goddamn thing. So there we go. Thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, I suppose we'll see you all in the next yep. one. See you next week. Peace. Peace. Then you turn and you look at me. There's a little glimmer that I can see. A sparkle in your eyes. It makes me realize all we need is you and me. A light shine. What is the best memory from your childhood?
For me, I mean, I remember one time, like there's a lot, I have a lot of good memories, but I remember one time my mom took me and she got me a Pokemon deck at Toys R Us. And I got home and I was smelling the Pokemon deck and it just had like that new card smell. And I'll never forget that. I think, I don't know if that's best memory, but it's certainly the one that comes to mind first. Mm. What about you, Techie? I have a couple of really good memories, but I think the one that's sticking in my mind right now is there was this national Yu-Gi-Oh tournament uh, that I entered in with my buddy. I think his name was Gregory. And I was a like Yu-Gi-Oh savant. Not really. Let me rephrase that. For in my like school, I was really good. Like, like I was like <laughs> yeah, yeah. big yeah. fish, small pond. I'm Obviously versus the real guys, I would get my ass kicked. Um, and I thought, okay, well, I just lost like my local tournament outside. I'm not that good. So what am I going to do? I'm going to cheat. And what I would do is I would stack my deck and I would make sure to take longer than them to shuffle. And then when they offered for me to cut their deck, I would say, no, it's okay. I trust you. So that way they wouldn't cut my deck because they would look like a fucking dick. And I would always put this four star called called Chainsaw Insect on the very top because it was draft tournament. And Chainsaw Man Insect made me win the whole fucking tournament. Now, the only part that sucked is I won five booster boxes for winning. But because Gregory's mom drove us there, she made me give him two of the fucking booster boxes. What? Which was You're the, talking about the $80 ones, right? A big boy. At, at the time. It was yep, the big ones. Oh, my God. That was some bullshit. It was. 